In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way that you can create a progress bar card in Power BI. We're going to go through how you can create this using the native card visual in Power BI. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernand and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel, where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. The out-of-the-box visuals that come with Power BI Desktop unfortunately doesn't give you a lot of options. If you want to show your progress, you can use the gauge visual, which basically does progress. But apart from that, you really don't have that much options. You have the gauge visual, which you can use to show progress. But if you want to show your progress in a horizontal or vertical format, you don't really have a lot of native options apart from using SVG or or using bar charts. So today I wanted to show you how you can create a visual that is similar to what I have here using the native card visual. What I like about this visual is that it's very clean and minimalistic. So if you're looking to try to be more efficient with your report space in your page, this could be a good option for you. So let's start by recreating this one using the card visual here. And the first thing that we will do is we'll start to create some of the measures that we want to have in this card. So so uh, at the moment, we only have one measure, which is showing the progress in percentage. I've just put a manual value there for now in a percentage format, but obviously this would normally be a calculation on your semantic model. Apart from this measure, we'll need two other measures. One to visualize the progress here in these icons. And then the second is the commentary here at the bottom, which we want to be dynamic. So we'll start with the progress bar first of all. So we'll create a new measure here and we'll call this one progress bar. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll create a few variables here. So first we'll start with a value, which first of all starts by getting the value that we have from the progress percentage measure. And we're putting this into a variable because we want to convert this into a value that uh, counts how many field boxes there are in this progress bar. So if it's 68, for example, we want to round that up to seven uh, field icons here, which is what we're going to use um, in our solution here. So at the moment, as you can see in our original progress uh, card here, we have seven filled and then three unfilled. So we're going to use this variable to determine the field or how many bars of field would we want. So in this case, what we'll do is we'll, um, we'll first wrap this with a round round up, we'll round it to a one. And then the actual progress percentage value will multiply that to 10. So if I do a return here and then simply just get the value, going back to this, we actually need to change the rounding to zero just to make sure that it's a full whole number value. So now if we put this into a card visual here, for example, you'll see that instead of showing 0 0.68, it's showing us the full seven. Now let's continue. Let's create the other variables that we have here. So the only other one that we need to create is the remaining, which is basically 10 minus whatever the value is. So that will be the number of the non-filled icons in our progress bar. And then from the return, we'll simply use this function called Wrapped, which allows us to repeat the number, uh, the text based on the number of times that we give it. So if this looks familiar, it's because we actually used this same solution already for one of our old videos around showing visual star ratings for movies and such. So actually, it's the exact same solution. Um, so for now, what we'll do is we'll we'll do the same thing. So we'll we'll I will add the text, and then we'll say how many times you want to repeat it. So the first one is uh, value. We'll keep the text empty for now and we'll fill that in later. And then we'll concatenate it with an ampersand. And then we'll do another rep here for the non-filled values. And then we'll say, use the remaining. And then uh, at the moment, what it will do is actually it will show nothing because there are no values. But if I put something there like one and zero, 
you'll see that it repeats the number one seven times and then it repeats the zero three times, which is exactly what we have here, except obviously this is now using um, some icons. Now, we're actually gonna cheat a little bit here and use uh, what we call emojis. So to bring up the emoji board, we need to use the uh, Windows dot icon, which will bring up this board. And then from here, we can use a lot of different symbols and icons that you probably won't have access to from your keyboards. So what I do is I typically look for the ones that I need from the symbols section here. So for example, the ones for the field would be these, um, but you have a lot of options here. And it's just showing me here the most recent ones that I've used. So for the field one, actually, I think it's this one, the big one. And then for the second one, the unfilled one, again, Windows dots, and under symbols, the non-filled box. So now we have this in this format. So uh, it looks like we have the progress bar sorted. The next thing that we need to do is create this subtitle where it, where it says 32% from the target. So we'll create another measure for this. We'll call this one progress subtitle. And then we'll simply uh, use the percentage progress. And then ampersand. And then we'll say from target. But this percentage progress will actually just show a decimal. So we'll need to format this to make sure that it's showing in the right format. So we'll just make sure that uh, we add this formatting string to say it's in a percentage format without any decimals. And also just bear in mind that we need to get the inverse value of the percentage progress. So we need to do a one minus. So this will give you, uh, so let's say if, if the progress is 68%, it will give you 32% if you do a one minus. Um, so that's kind of how it works. So if we hit enter and put this into a table, you'll see that it says 32% from the target. What's great about this is that obviously as your progress changes, so does this subtitle. Now that we have all of the measures that we need, let's do the actual fun part, which is customizing this to get the design that we want. So I'll delete this and uh, we'll, we'll make it the same size as this one. There we go. So for the data, we want to actually not use the progress bar, but we actually want to use the percentage progress. Now let's open up the format pane here and let's adjust some of the values in this, uh, in this callout value. So we'll change this to Arial and we'll change it to 16. We'll actually make it bold as well. We'll change the name of this callouts to progress. Now under the reference labels, we want to add the bar and we want to add the subtitle, something like this. Uh, we just make sure that it's the same height as well. We're going to adjust that in a little bit. So on the select series, let's choose all from here, first of all, so that we can adjust some of these things like uh, the divider, which we want to disable. And we also want to remove the outer padding, which is the padding between the divider or the reference label and the callout value. So if we put that to, let's say to it will just shift all of your uh, values up here. So before we select the individual labels, let's first disable the title so that we don't see them. And then let's uh, customize the individual uh, reference labels here. So for example, the progress bar, we want that to have a separate or a different color, but we can change that to a slightly different color from the rest. And also for the progress subtitle, we want that to be a little bit a little bit uh, more faint so that we have that information, but not too prevalent uh, in this card. So we can choose one of these gray colors. Maybe that's too, too light. And then the last thing that we can do from here is under cards, we can actually change the shape of the card itself because it's not that obvious. But if I deselect it, there is a bit of rounding in this card. So if I just zoom in here a little bit, you can see that there is a bit of rounding so we can change that from the card option. So under shape, just change it to a rounded rectangle and then change this to, uh, let's say five pixels. So that will replicate the exact same uh, rounding that we have from the original design. And that's really it for this video. 
I hope you now know how easy it is to play around with the design options that you have with the card visual in Power BI to create a simple progress card visual like this. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so not to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.